How do we convert a non-terminating recurring decimal to the form P by Q? Take the number 0 0.3 with a bar over 3. How do we get this in the form P by Q? It's simple but interesting. Let's equate x with 0 0.3 bar. You will know soon as to why we are doing this. A bar over 3 means x equals 0 0.3333 and so on. Let this be our first equation. There's only one way in which we can convert this into a fraction. It's by eliminating of the recurring decimal. Eliminating this 3333 and so on. How do we eliminate it? Here's the most important step. We multiply both sides of this equation by 10. That gives us 10x equals 3.3333 and so on. Let this be our second equation. Now we have two equations with us. Can we eliminate this point 3333? Think about it. How about we subtract this equation from this one? So let's write the first equation here. x equals 0 0.3333 and so on. We subtract the left hand sides and the right hand sides. 10x minus x gives us 9x and 3.3333 minus 0 0.3333 gives us 3. We finally managed to eliminate the recurring decimal. We have just 3 on the right hand side now. Transposing 9 to the right hand side, we get x equal to 3 by 9, which equals 1 by 3. Here we converted our recurring decimal to the rational number form p by q. Remember, our ultimate aim is to eliminate the recurring decimal. But what if we had a mixed recurring decimal like 0 0.75 with a bar over 5? Here x would equal 0 0.75555 and so on. The digit 7 is not repeated. Let this be our first equation. To convert this into p by q form, we have to eliminate 5555 which is the recurring part. This one's interesting. Let's multiply both sides of the first equation by 10. That gives us 10x equals 7.5555 and so on. Let this be our second equation. Now tax your brain a little. If we subtract this from this, will we eliminate 555 and so on? The only way that can happen is if we have two equations which have just the recurring part after the decimal. Like in the previous example, we had 3333 after the decimal point. How do we manage to get a 5555 after the decimal point in two equations here? It's simple. We multiply equation 1 with 100. That gives us 100x equals 75.5555 and so on. So now we have two equations which have just 5555 after the decimal point. Let's subtract this equation from this one. 100x minus 10x equals 90x on the left hand side and this minus this will equal 68. We can see that getting the part after the decimal same allows us to just subtract it out. So this actually equaled 75 minus 7. Transposing 90 to the other side, x would equal 68 by 90 which can be reduced to 34 by 45. So that's how we converted a mixed recurring decimal to the form p by q. It's simple, just aim to get the recurring part after the decimal and you're done. There are two more parts based on conversion of non-terminating recurring decimals to the form p by q. Make sure you watch them too.